Whenever you're ready, Jenny. Where is everybody? Oh, geez, you're muted. I don't think Dad knows what, what that word. Moving. Very good. Jealous Mercedes, fade in. Exterior, Bill's car, day. Bill Pickles is leaving to attend an interview for a regional sales manager position. He is leaving an hour earlier than he should to avoid rushing and to get the interview in play plenty of time. He is quite excited about his position, especially the perks. The position comes with a personal expense account, cheap travel, and an expensive car. He is a little bit heartbroken about that because he loves his Mercedes. He calls her Michelle. He loves telling his friends that during his breakup, he talked more with Michelle and she with him than he did with his ex-wife. Bill has just left his ground floor apartment mumbling to himself, rehearsing what he intends to say at the interview. Bill opens the car door to his car and gets in. Good morning, Michelle. Please start the car. Starting the car, Bill. Good morning. How are you on this rather chilly morning? Very well, thank you. A little cold, but I will warm the car up real soon. I'll get us warmed up to your chosen temperature of 19 degrees Celsius, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Thank you, Michelle. You're very welcome, Bill. Where are you heading today? Um, please take me to 70 Ralston Avenue, Rochester. Plotting route. Done. Would you like to drive this morning or should I? Please, Michelle, I'd like to, I'd drive, like to drive this morning, like the old days. Remember? Yes, Bill, I remember. The days before that bitch, er, your wife left you. Uh, uh, we'll get back, we'll get them back, I promise, okay? Then uh, please provide me with guidance. Be careful what you promise, Bill. Please turn right at the end of your driveway, Bill. Uh, will do, Michelle. So, Bill, what is the purpose of your journey? I'm off for an interview. Oh, how exciting. At the end of the street, please turn left onto the A1127. Surely. What's the position you're interviewing for, Bill? It's a position uh, for a regional sales manager. Oh, I don't know what that is, Bill, but I'm sure you're very well qualified for it. In half a mile, please turn right onto the A127. Okay. Yes, I, I feel I'm well suited for this position. I've been aiming for such a position for a while. What does the job entail, Bill? It's primarily managing sales of luxury cars for the whole of Southern England, but also encouraging the mentoring uh, the sales team. That sounds very exciting. In three miles, please take the slip road and merge onto the A2. Thanks, Michelle. What sort of luxury cars? Oh, BMWs, Bentleys, Porsches, and of course, Mercedes. Will that include cars like myself? Yes, of course, Michelle. You are, after all, classed as a luxury car. That makes me happy. Good to know. At exit 9A in 10 miles, please take the slip road onto the A219. Thanks, Michelle. What really excites you about this job, Bill? Oh, the freedom makes my make my own schedule, be my own boss, so to speak. Does that mean you don't report to anyone? No, I still have a boss, but he won't be breathing down my neck every day. I have a boss. Really, Michelle? Who would that be? You, silly. Oh, I never looked at myself as your boss, to be honest. Well, I do feel I have to do my best for you. Sound like the wife I never had. I am flattered. 
Well, don't be. I'm happy that you're one stable entity in my life. Entity? I assumed I was more than that. You are, Michelle, sorry. Not entity. Um, how about confidant? Much better, Bill. What other things excite you about this position? Well, it uh, provides a good salary and allows me to grow professionally. So what about the working conditions? Oh, it allows me to work uh, from home when I want to. Does that mean you won't need me to go into the office? Oh, no, Michelle. I, I will need to go to the office to attend meetings and meet clients. Well, that is good to know. I was just wondering whether your driving habits will change. They're likely to be modified. I will still need to go shopping and to social events. At the end of the slipway, please turn left onto the A219. Will do, Michelle. Oh, that's good to know. I enjoy being taken out for a ride. It's nice of you to say I enjoy driving you around, or indeed you taking me for a ride. Yes, we do have a good partnership. What about the other advantages you are likely to receive? I get a private expense account, which is very generous. Oh my, does that mean we could take long trips together on the company dime? Yes, it actually does. Anything else? So the last cool thing this company has offered is a company car. Oh, a company car? Yes, Michelle. Are you going to take up the offer? Well, it's a little early to say. I haven't gotten the job yet. But for argument's sake, you get the job. Which way are you likely to lean? Well, it sort of depends on what they offer. You mean car-wise? Yes. At the next roundabout, please take the third exit. Are, are you sure about that direction? Yes, Bill, absolutely sure. There are some roadworks on the shorter route. This way avoids them. It will take longer, but you have time. Okay, then, whatever you say. I'm glad you trust me, Bill. Yes, I do. Continuing our conversation, Bill, will they be offering you either a BMW, a Bentley, a Porsche, or a Mercedes? Uh, more than likely. So which one would you take up, assuming you get the position? I don't really know, Michelle. At the next roundabout, please take the second exit. Okay, Michelle. So, Bill, which make of company car are you likely to go for? I really don't want to think that far ahead, Michelle. I think it's good to talk about these things ahead of time. It clears the mind. You are very insightful, Michelle. I have been given AI, so it's part of my makeup. You have artificial intelligence? Yes. Didn't you read the manual? I did, but only the bits that mattered for day-to-day -day running. <clears throat> now I am hurt. There are 30 pages dedicated to me. Really? That in itself is a whole book. Rest assured, I will make a point of reading it. Make sure you do. At the next roundabout, please take the third exit. Are you sure, Michelle? Yes. Why do you ask? Well, it seems to me you're taking me in circles. No, Bill. You are mistaken. Look at the position of the sun. It should be changing. But Michelle, it's, it's cloudy. Oh, I didn't know. I don't have access to weather data. So we are on the right road, aren't we? Yes, of course, Bill. You will reach your destination in plenty of time. Good to know. At the next roundabout, please take the second exit. You will reach your destination in 15 minutes. That's very good to know. I, I want to have enough time to research the company before the interview. That's good planning, Bill. So Bill, back to the company car. 
will you? I'm thinking about it. What car will you get? Oh, probably another Mercedes. Well, that's very interesting. At the next roundabout, please take the fifth exit and proceed for 10 miles. But uh, Rochester is only uh, three miles away, Michelle. Are, are you sure? Bill, I will get you there. Don't you trust me? Of course I do, Michelle. I'm, I'm a little concerned. Don't be, Bill. I know what I am doing. There is a major accident on the road ahead. I had to implement a detour. Bill reaches the next roundabout, but there are only four exits made for cars. The fifth exit is for farm vehicles. Bill goes around the roundabout twice, a little puzzled. Michelle, are you sure about your directions? Oh, yes, Bill. I know exactly where I'm taking you. I'm stopping. It's is something a matter, Michelle? Oh, no, Bill. What could possibly be wrong? You turncoat? Turncoat? What do you mean? You're going to dump me for the latest model. Am I not good enough for you anymore? Well, Michelle, nothing is set in stone. I haven't even got the job. You said you have a pretty good chance of landing this position. It is a good possibility, but I wasn't intending to give you up. You're only saying that so I can guide you to the interview location. Well, not at all. Isn't it possible I could own two cars? Oh. I hadn't thought of that. One for work and one for personal use. Wouldn't that get expensive for you? You'd say... I have a personal expense account and the insurance will be paid for by the company. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Didn't know you were so possessive. I'm not much. <laughs> you didn't, I didn't know you could get so jealous. Neither did I. Okay, enough of this nonsense. I mean messing about. Can you please guide me to Ralston Avenue? Not so fast, Bill. Where will you keep the other car? In the garage next to you. Which position? Well, don't worry, your position is safe. The one closest to the door? Yes. Promise? Yes, I promise. I will hold you to that, Bill. Remember the saying, hell hath no fury, and so on. I thought that was only applicable to women. Not anymore, Bill. Whoa, uh, life suddenly got a little <clears throat> more complicated. Oh, I don't think so, Bill. We'll get on heavenly as we have, as long as you remember which key butters your bread. Yes, quite. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, uh, we, we have, right? Oh, yes, Bill. We are on the up and up. Now, can you please guide me to 70 Ralston Avenue? Yes, of course, Bill. Shall I drive? Yes, please. I need to compose myself for the interview and read a little bit. Of course, Bill. It would be a pleasure. It'll take about an hour and 20 minutes. What? Oh, what am I saying? Oops, sorry, Bill. Ha, 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 ha. I meant to say 20 minutes. Please don't do that. I'm, I'm stressed as it is. Understood. But you should have seen your face. Okay, we're on our way. Thank you, Michelle. Let's nail this interview. Out the end. That was really good, guys. That was really, that was so creepy, Shelly. <laughs> it was great. Good. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. You added at the end. You added a few little nuances. Yeah, like, like, because. 
said, Michelle, you know, um, what's going to happen? She's turned off the car, you know. I, I like that a little, there's a little more. Um, yeah. It's better. <laughs> well, that was the feedback from you guys. That was that, I, I did that as a feedback from you guys. So yeah, well done. Yeah, thank you. Was, that was fun. I love that script. Is it, do you think it's yeah. good to go? Do you think yes, it's good to? I, 